Days after a man was found dead in Lexington, his friends are still trying to find out why someone would stab him to death. The death of 53-year-old Robert Wallace Jr. marking Lexington's 38th homicide of the year, setting a grim record for the city. Georgia MacArthur spent the day with one of the victim's friends still searching for answers. It's like I haven't even cried yet for the simple fact that emotions numb. I'm just so angry. Shanita Johnson struggling with the loss of a college friend. Kentucky State University for over, I've known Bobby over 30 years. It's just hard for all of us because we kind of found out about this at tailgate. Saturday was our homecoming. Robert Wallace Jr., known as Bobby, became Lexington's latest victim in a year that has seen a record number of homicides. I'm from New York and people think that, oh, you're used to it. No, there's no, there's no such thing as getting used to death and homicide. Wallace died after police say someone stabbed him to death on Friday night near the 1000 block of Bryan Avenue, a senseless act his friend says Wallace did not deserve. But he was just a, a genuine person that was loved by anybody who met him. He was a type that if he saw you on the side of the road, thought you were cold, he'd give you his coat. He, just, he was just a giver. Um, he fed the community every Sunday. Lexington police say they have no suspects, but Johnson hopes someone with information comes forward. I pray a whole lot for just these kids and even the adults because it's, it's not... It's not bias where it's just one set of people that it's happening. Young kids are shooting, older kids, people are shooting. And you just, it's just a whole lot of nonsense. In Lexington, George MacArthur, Fox 56 News.